Today, we're back in my 1.18 hardcore world. And oh, I am excited for this episode. We're gonna be making a wool farm, but not just any wool farm. We're gonna make a giant wool factory. I have so many cool building ideas using wool. So that being said, I wanna start farming it up so we can make some epic things in this world. Wait a second, you're not a sheep. Imposter, among us. So yeah, the plan is set. But before any of that stuff, I wanna work on this tree a little bit more. Last episode, we made that amazing custom tree. But in the comments, you guys gave me some really cool ideas to add on to it. So I want to put these on here right now. So let's see what I have in the old chest room. Aha, uh -huh, I have some glow berries. This is gonna look so... Wait, it's not possible. Unless I throw some extra branches in with wood and then do that. Oh, this might look really good. Oh, I can bring them down too. This is gonna look so sick at night. I love it already. Now there's one more thing I want, but do I have it? I don't think I do. Mini adventure time, BRB. So off I went looking for a lush cave. Aha! It's my favorite tree in the world, the azalea tree. Just gonna dig down here. And then I literally almost died. Now show! Uh, I want a lush cave. This is not lush at all. Carrying on this way. Ooh, ooh, we're in it. We're in the lush cave, baby. I'll take some extra of these. Thank you very much. But I'm here for a very specific reason. Where are you? Oh, I see you. I want you. Hey, Axelotl, how you doing? One day I'll get a blue one. One day. So long story short, I think those blossoms are gonna look amazing on my tree. So check this out, ready? If I put this down right there. Oh, I need wood again. Stupid game mechanics. Now watch the particles emit off this thing. These little green particles all over the air. It's so naturey. It's so to ah! It summons the undead. The point being, it looks really cool with the whole nature vibe here. I love it. There's still one thing missing, and it involves you. Charlton. I think we should make Charlton a birdhouse where he can perch up on the tree and hang out somewhere. I think it would look so cool. I'm finally making you a home, dude. I love you so much. I guess I'll just pop you off. Smack a chain there. Craft doors. And here comes the sick part. Ready? I'm gonna craft scaffolding and put the scaffolding inside of here. And boom. Look at this little birdhouse. Now, how do I get you in there? You're gonna love it. Come on. We're almost there, Charlton. No, get in. Go in there. Get in the house. No, what are you doing? Get in. Yes. Well, that was difficult. Put the door back on. Oh, I like that so much. Well, sayonara. I'm kidding. That can be open. Oh, he looks so good in there. What a handsome gentleman. But now it's time to focus up and get to our wool factory. Hello, sheep. How you doing? If my calculations are correct, I think there's 16 different kinds of wool. So that means I need 16 different sheep because I want to have every color of wool automatically producing in my factory. So who do I have in the barn? I feel like I have a couple of sheep in here. Yeah, I have two. Enderman. What the heck? Well, this should be pretty easy. Just get some wheat and make a baby. Oh, hello. Moms be like, look how cute my baby is. The baby. <laughs> Please laugh at my meme. I actually think it'll be faster to go find some wild sheep. Oh, yes, hello. Oh, there's more there. It's like a sheep sanctuary. Come on, guys, we're going on vacation. You're gonna love it. So on I went, gathering up sheep, breeding them, and just being a good shepherd. How did you get in here? Okay, no shepherd is perfect, okay? <laughs> It's really hard to count all these guys, but I think I have 16. 13 in here, three in there. So that's math, right? So now it's time to go make the actual farm itself, the little mechanism that shears them automatically. I may have forgot to mention that. This factory is gonna be fully automatic. So I'm gonna need some redstoney things like observers, hoppers, and some dispensers, which I can craft using bows, I think. Oh, I'm so smart, look at me go. Is that really all my string? Dude, I have a spider farm. How does that even happen? Well. Small pit stop. Oh, mushroom farm, how you doing? Kind of forgot about you. Why do those emit light and those don't? That is interesting. Well, hello, old XP farm. Where would string be? It would be there, yes. And that is all we need. So now the question is, where am I gonna put the wool farm? Because I'm gonna make a really cool building to cover it up later. Where do I want a new building? You know what? Maybe we go a little bit down the hillside and go over here. I'm very intrigued by that because all my builds right now are on like the same level just about, but down here, oh, we're expanding, baby. Yep, I'm down with it. Let's go. Side note, I need a better shovel. This thing stinks. So here is the idea. We go up about two blocks in the air and I make a little T shape out of grass like this. I go observer on the back, dispenser on top of that. On the back of the observer, a block and a piece of redstone. Then I put shears in this dispenser. 
and that's all it is. Now all I gotta do is put a sheep right on this block. Over time, he'll eat the grass, and when the block updates, he will get automatically sheared with this thingy. It's so simple, a caveman can do it. Let me just grab one of these. And who wants to be the test dummy? Please form a single file line. A, si a single file line. Oh, I made mistakes. All right, I got my one. Boom, 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 and there we go. I'm gonna shear him once so he's naked. Put the shears back, and let's see if it works. Eat the grass. Eat the grass. Oh my gosh. You stay there. I'm gonna go sleep. <gasps> he did it. He did it. It works. That is great news. And now I just gotta make a system to collect the wool automatically. So I'm gonna go under here and break that block, that block, and that block. Put a double chest right there. Hopper rail, and then hopper minecart. And that way, if any wool gets caught up there, it will flow into there, into there, and into here. I do want to use glass, though, because glass is pretty. And huzzah! That is one farm completely and totally done. So, now I just gotta go make 15 more of these for all 16 colors. Time to get to work. And as I build the farm, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe and hit the bell. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, here's an update. I have eight sheeps in their pens. And I was gonna make eight more pens right over here, but I kind of realized that's gonna be a really, really, like, thick area. So instead, I'm actually gonna stack more sheep pens on top of these pens. So, yeah, wish me luck. This might go horribly wrong. Or maybe not. I guess we'll find out. Actually, hold that thought. I need to make a new shovel, because this one's about to break, and I want silk touch. Because I need more grass. To the Enderman farm we go. But then, I got a little bit distracted. You know what? I've been passing by this ship every single time I go to my farm. But no longer. What is in here? Treasure? Uh, moss. But not treasure. What about you? <gasps> treasure map. Yes, I'm getting a little bit distracted, but it's worth it. It's treasure, come on. It should be right here. Or is it? Oh no! That makes it way harder. <gasps> I found it! Give me good stuff! <gasps> Diamonds! Ooh, and a heart of the sea! I will use that later on. Well, back to business. Okay, give me levels. <laughs> All right, it's shovel time. I'll craft you. Go to the enchanting house. Give me something good, unbreaking. Not bad. But if I go to the library, maybe I can find a silk touch book in here somewhere. Silk touch. Oh, I got one. And I'll take a mending. Boom, 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 boom. Rip. And to top it all off, let's put one of these beautiful netherite ingots on the shovel. And that is what I'm talking about. Back to work we go. And the last one, we're done. We now have all 16 sheep in their pens. So now the mission is simple. We gotta go dye all these sheep, one of every kind of color. So do we have any dyes on us right now? Red, white, pink, light gray. Oh, there's so many colors. Just gotta smelt some cacti. Oh, snap. I forgot I had ancient debris in here. That's 21 pieces. I don't know how I forgot about that. So off I went trying to craft all the dyes. And let me just say, it was a struggle, man. I think all I need is yellow and black. So I see yellow flowers up here. Take one of you. And for black, I need some squid ink. Thank you very much. Okay, it's dying time. I meant like dying wool, not like dying in hardcore. Light gray, dark gray. What am I missing? Oh, snap, I need brown. Do I have any cocoa beans? Oh, I do. Ladies, gentlemen, that is it. That is every color of the rainbow in my sheep farm. Now, all that's left is I gotta make a ton of shears. You take some shears. You take some shears. Everybody here gets shears. Now, I just gotta figure out a way to tell who's who. Ooh, what I could do is take one piece of wool and just kind of like print it on the front like that. Absolutely perfect. Now, hold the phone for one sec. Last episode, I said if the video got two thousand likes, I'd make a TNT cannon and shoot myself into the sky. But sadly, you guys did not hit it. So no TNT for me, which to be fair is probably a good thing. But that being said, I'm going to up the stakes for next time. If this video gets 2000 likes, I will go into that portal behind me and I will start attacking zombie pigmen with no totem of undying. And just to clarify, we're not just attacking one or two. We're going to attack an entire army. Back to the wool factory. Now that the farm is done, it's time to go actually make the build. As I mentioned earlier, we're gonna build something to cover up the sheep farm. And it's gonna be a pretty big build, so I'm gonna need a lot of materials. So, it's chopping time. And I really meant that. I got a ton of oak wood, spruce wood, deep slate, 
chicken jockeys and calcite. Well, what do we have here? An escapee from the factory. Carl, you can't run from your problems all the time. You gotta face them head on. Okay. But anyways, I got quite a few blocks in my hand and I am ready to build. And for the build idea, we're gonna be making a clock tower. So, wish me luck, let's get to work. First things first, I want this building to be very square, not, you know, rectangular. So I wanna make sure it's all even. So my goal is to make about a 13 by 13 house. Looking good, looking good. Now we're gonna add in our logs as all good buildings have. And I think we'll do three cobble, then one log. And then make some wood pillars across the top. It's still kind of blue land for me though, so I'm gonna add in some oak stairs for some extra texture. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, that looks good. But then, I made a little accident. Well, you know what they say, measure twice, cut once. I am one block too far this way, so I gotta tear it all down and redo it. F in chat. But after that mistake, I was really enjoying the build. I am not great at making big scale buildings, so the fact that this was coming out so well was really exciting to me. Well, we're one half down and so far, so good. I think we're gonna have like two more floors above that right there, so it's gonna be a pretty tall building. But I'm getting low on my material, so I gotta go get some more spruce wood and oak wood. But also, I just realized something. This sheep pen is now empty. And honestly, that's kinda sad. So I wonder if any possible friends wanna go in there. I don't know what your names are, I never actually named these dogs, but you're gonna come over here. And this here is now the doggy play yard. Let's just scoot you in from the rain, don't wanna get you all wet. Haha, <laughs> there we go. All right, well you two enjoy this, it's all yours. In fact, have a trap door to play with, both of you. My treat. Actually, I'm gonna need those back. <laughs> I need a lot of those for the build. So you know what I say? I say we make a mega spruce tree again, cause those are always fun. Let's fly down here, and we throw some saplings down in groups of four. Now, make a big tree, do it, make a big tree. How about over here? Make a big tree. Yeah! And that is how you farm spruce wood. Also, hey Minecraft, why can't I make giant oak trees too? Add it. Well, back to building we go. Also, I want to point out how humane I am. Look at the view these sheep have. Look at this. I didn't have to build these windows. I chose to because I care about the sheep and their well-being. And by the way, I want to give you guys a little bit of a building tip here. I see a lot of people have pretty basic walls like this, which is totally fine. But if you want to make it even better, try adding some extra dimension and add some blocks on front. Oh yeah, that looks so good. So I continued on building and boy, I was in the zone building this thing. I just felt like no matter how big the scale was, I was going to make it look amazing and I really did. All right, we're just putting the finishing touches on the roof and oh man, guys, this is one of my best builds of all time, I think. Just wanna give it a little bit of a pointy roof here and boom, boom, and I think we are done. And are you guys ready to see it? Boom! Look at this bad boy completely and utterly finished. And yes, I am joking. The clock is not inside of it yet. The rest of the build is done, which looks amazing. I'm so, so, so proud of it. And now we're bringing out the heavy duty decorative blocks. We're bringing out calcite and we're going inside the farm to take out some white wool. I hope that's enough. <laughs> this is going to be interesting, but here's my idea. I'm going to make a circle shape out of deep slate, add some stairs for a little more texture, and and the idea is to use wool and calcite to make the clock itself. I'm using both of these because I think it's a cool little mix of blocks. I hope it looks good. That looks wrong. I did something wrong here. Ah, I see. These need to be stairs. Oh yeah, much better. Wait, I need clock hands. Could I use spruce fences for that? Boom, boom, boom. Oh snap, dude. That looks so good. Now off to go do the other three sides of the clock. All right, it's time for the far away view. Oh my gosh. I know I'm biased because it's my build, but I think it looks insane. I think it looks so good. I am so proud of myself. You guys have no idea. It looks way better than I thought it would. Well, my hard work has paid off. Hey, Charlton, what do you think of the new build? These vines are in the way. You can't really see, can you? No matter, I can fix it. I'm gonna break that and put some string underneath it. That way the vine can't grow anywhere below that. As a matter of fact, I should do that for all these. But now now what do you think? I think he loves it. Now for the inside of this place, it's kind of hard to get around right now, but I guess I don't really have to because I can access all the chests from here. Wait, why are these empty? Ah, uh, the grass isn't growing back. I gotta put more light in here. Problem solved, hopefully. I guess we'll find out over time. Stupid grass, do photosynthesis. Now I just gotta add some hidden lighting under some moss carpet. Perfection. 
Oh, and also, I gotta make a pathway to get down here. Because right now, it's kind of hard to get down here without, like, going into this little crevice and taking fall damage. Maybe I'll wrap it around down here. And that right there is one beautiful landscape. You know what I just realized? I almost have a complete netherite set of armor and tools. I just gotta make an axe. So I think you guys know what that means. Do I have any more netherite? Oh, I have so many scraps. Wait, how many can I make? I can make- I can make nine? I can make a block of netherite, dude. As sick as that is, I gotta go for the axe. Sorry. I'm just gonna make one new axe and just try and enchant it, see what I can get. Also, off camera, I did a little bit of decorating in here because it was kind of bugging me how basic it was. So I did a little, little flower pot action, little trap door action, just a few things. But who cares? Give me a good enchantments, please. Fortune three? Ooh. Well, I have no anvil. Forgot about that. <laughs> I'm so lazy. I'm just gonna craft a ton. I'm gonna craft six of them so I don't have to come back here ever again. I just need an unbreaking book and a mending book. Do I have those? I know I have mending. Do I have unbreaking? Oh my gosh, I got a lot. I can't get over that view, dude. That's so nice. Fortune axe with unbreaking, with mending, and now with netherite. And that is a full set of netherite tools. We are making so much progress in this series. And now to up Update the map! Oh, look at that new build on it. That's sick. But that's gonna be it from me today. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.